It's something of a big day here at Garden Grown Groceries. It's the time for our first harvest. It's not a big one, nothing at all like that. But we get to harvest some of the produce out of the garden. So let's go take a look. I think I've waited as long as I can on this broccoli head. It looks like starting to get really loose. This is a Calabrese broccoli. So I'm gonna harvest this head. And like, as I said, it's, it's getting kind of loose. And over here, it looks like these are gonna start to bolt. I'm gonna cut it all the way down here by the main leaves. There we go. And as you can see, it's already forming offshoot heads. The other broccoli still have some dense heads. And this one might be time to harvest. It's still got a nice closed head. And I think that'll uh, do well. The other day we had another 100 degree day temperature. It was almost 100. So that makes like three or four days where we've had 100 degree temperatures in May. So that they all haven't bolted on me is great but we had three that did go to flower so i'm going to leave these intact in the ground and collect the seed from them so i've got this one for dinner tonight it's a little past where it should have been i think this is more appropriate here but i'm gonna let it go for another day maybe two we'll see but then i'll get that one as well and I think these still have a little bit further to go. This one might be getting close. Looks like it's starting to open up a little bit. So we'll have to watch that one. That one might end up coming out tomorrow, even though it's very small. This one still has a way to go. And like I said, this one, we're gonna keep an eye on it. So it's a couple of days after I harvested that first head. And I decided to harvest all the heads the big heads on the rest of the plants. And that's because they were looking like they were going to start opening up. Actually, this was the one that was like the second furthest along. And it suddenly, like the branches just started uh, splitting open like that there. So I took the others that still have the very tight head and some smaller ones too, but they're getting that yellowish tint to them. So I figured it's gonna be time to take it and we're gonna make some broccoli soup. I made a roux by stirring in some flour into onions and garlic from the garden that I had sauteed in melted butter. To that I added chicken broth, pepper, salt, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Yes, that's my pinch. And then stirred it all together. I then added some carrots, the washed broccoli heads, and now we'll let it simmer covered for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, add two cups of heavy cream. And then mix in about eight ounces or so of shredded cheese. And now I'm going to get out the immersion blender and mix these ingredients all together. And we've got a nice cup of broccoli cheese soup with carrots, and we'll make it Instagram worthy by garnishing it with a sprig of parsley that we grew as part of our herb garden this year. So let's harvest some of the leaves on our romaine lettuce here. And give the heads that are forming, you can see this nice head forming in here. So let's get take some of these lower leaves off and we're not gonna throw them away. We're actually going to uh, cut them up and make a salad. Maybe these lower ones down here along the ground starting to yellow, we can get rid of them. been warm today so some of the leaves are flagging a little bit mm. 
chickens will get those. Now this is romaine, so it's not like a leaf lettuce. But that doesn't mean you still can't cut off these outer leaves to give the rest of the plant room to grow. Okay. These heads now have room to breathe between them. And this leaf here actually is getting chewed up by something. And as you look in here, you can see that actually there's a bunch of leaves that are rotting. So those heads are good now. And we'll allow them to continue growing. Now we'll take these leaves and we'll cut them up. We'll rinse them off. And we'll have lettuce for a nice salad. All right, let's go wash these heads off. This bucket has holes drilled in the bottom, so the water is pouring out of the bottom there. Now we'll use our salad spinner. with one hand. And now we've got a nice salad. It all spun off and clean. What I'll do is I'm gonna put this into a gallon size freezer bag and put a uh, paper towel in there. And that'll actually keep the salad uh, crisp and fresh for a couple of weeks, where salad would tend to wilt after just a couple of days. Putting the uh, paper towel into the bag with the lettuce keeps it fresh. Here's the lettuce inside a gallon freezer bag with the paper towel. You can do this with store-bought lettuce too. Just dampen the uh, paper towel, dampen, not wet, but dampen the paper towel and it'll allow the lettuce to say fresh and crisp. Now you just take the top and zipper closed and throw it in the crisper drawer of your refrigerator. I also like to squeeze out as much air as I can. We'll be flatten it down. And as I said, your lettuce will stay crisp for a couple of weeks. Now I've got my salad here. I mixed in a little store-bought lettuce that I have. A uh, little shredded mozzarella, uh, some multi bean salad, homemade, some walnuts, salt and pepper, and some olive oil and red wine vinegar. And I'm ready to eat. So it wasn't big. It was a couple of things, that's just it. But it's a start, and that's what's important because there's gonna be a lot more coming in the months to come. So if you want to see what we were doing in the garden last week, check out this video right here and then subscribe and hit that notification bell. And that way you'll be able to stay on top of the progress of all of our vegetables as we try to grow a supermarket in our own backyard. Okay, thanks for watching.